Hello guys, in this video, let's create web API project in Visual Studio. So of course, it will contain APIs and we want to secure these APIs that is this web API project using Azure AD OAuth 2. So while creating project itself, we will enable Azure AD authentication. And then once the project is created, we will study the code which is specific to Azure AD authentication. And of course, guys, this is just a skeleton code. I will just take you through this code and we have not yet configured Azure AD. But I will just explain the concepts behind the code which is specific to Azure AD authentication. Now we will run this project and we will try to call API from Postman. So obviously for the first time it will not run because it needs Azure AD authentication which we have not configured. So for time being we will simply disable it. That is we will disable that Azure AD authentication and we will run our project so that our project is working and we can call API. And in our upcoming videos, we will enable Azure AD authentication step by step. So guys, if you see we are in Visual Studio and here I will say create a new project. Here I will select project template as ASP.NET Core Web API. I will say next. Let's give name. So I will say demo API authentication using Azure AD. Let's say next. Here, here I will unselect this checkbox that is configured for HTTPS. And guys, important thing, see this authentication type here. Let's select Microsoft Identity Platform. That is while creating project itself, we are enabling Azure AD authentication. And here let's say create. Let me close this. And you can see our web API project is ready. Okay. Now let's go to controllers folder and let's open this weather forecast controller. And and observe guys, it says authorize. That means APIs from this controller, they require authorization or they require authentication. Okay. And now let's open this program.cs file. And here, please observe line number eight and nine. So what it says is builder.services.add authentication. So we have added authentication of type Microsoft Identity Web API and all the required configuration needed for this Azure AD authentication, it, it should be fetched from this section that is Azure AD. Okay. So with these two lines, we have added Azure AD authentication in this web API project. So this Azure AD, of course, it fetches configuration from this Azure AD, but where is this Azure AD section present? So for that, let's open this app settings.json file. And you can see this section that is Azure AD. Okay. So from this section, it fetches the required configuration. Now, as far as we are concerned, there are three important fields in this Azure AD section. That is one is tenant ID, one, one is client ID. So guys, if you have gone through previous videos, uh, we have discussed tenant ID and client ID, but again, we will discuss it over here as well. Okay. So. We will need to provide the tenant ID. We will need to provide the client ID. And then there is something called scopes as well, which also we will need to provide. And of course, we will discuss it in detail. Okay. Now let's see what happens if I try to run this project. So let's run it. So you can see our web API project is running. But it says the page isn't working and the HTTP error we got it 401 that means not authorized. So why we are getting this error is again. So let's go to this weather forecast controller. So basically it is trying to call this API this API and you see at controller level we have decorated with authorized attribute. So it requires authentication and it requires this Azure AD authentication. But of course we have not configured it. So we are unable to call this API with 
any of the users login and hence it says unauthorized okay so let's do one thing as of now again we are in this weather forecast controller here i will say allow anonymous so let's stop execution and let's run our api again and you can see the api is working and it returns the data because we have now enabled anonymous authentication that means we have disabled the authentication required okay now let's again go back to weather controller now guys one more change i will make is uh, just i mean that's not required but still i will make it root i mean personally i feel this more convenient or more readable so i will simply say here weather get weather data okay and of course it's not required but then i feel this name or this api root is more meaningful so let's again save it let's stop and now let's run again and of of course it says cannot be find, found because that uh, default route it is not present now so let's name it weather slash get weather data and again we can see we are able to call this api successfully so let's copy this api link and now let's go to the postman and let's try to call the api from postman so here i will say postman so guys again i assume you already know what postman is so basically we can test and we can call apis using postman so if you don't have it you can install it or you can use any other api testing tool as well so for example insomnia okay so let's open postman so guys we are in postman and now let's click on this plus icon and now again it is our get call and let's paste the url over here so again if you see it's the same url and the path is weather slash get weather data okay and it is because you see here we have specified the route as weather slash get weather data and again it is our http get call okay so let's here let's say send and yes it says status 200 that is okay and we have received the response so guys we are able to successfully consume this api but then it does not have any authentication okay so Let's implement Azure AD authentication step by step in our upcoming videos. Thank you.